Physics learners, you are welcome to yet another lesson. In our previous lesson, I left you with an activity of 10 numbers. So I am going to, ver to go through six numbers very fast, the numbers which I think were a little bit tricky. Then I will usher in into a new lesson. So we are going, we are going to go through A, then E, G, then number two, A, B, C. Then we shall call it corrections. So number one, A, you are supposed to express three, per, three quarters into a percentage. So this one is supposed to be multiplied by 100. OK? Is 100 directed divisible by 4? Yes, divide by 4, 1. Divide by 4, that is 25. So we shall have 3 times 25%. Arrange vertically and multiply 25 times 3. Here we shall get 15, carry 1, that is 6, 7. So we are getting 75%. I hope you got it there. Then we have, we have E. E, you are supposed to express 5 out of 6 into a percentage. This means 5 out of 6 times 100%. And this one is going to give you 100 is not exactly divisible by 6, so we multiply 5 times 100%, then we divide by 6. Okay? Do we have any number here which is exactly divisible by 6? Yes. Can use 2. By 2 is a 3. By 2 is 50. So when we multiply, we shall get 250% divided by 3. Divide by 3, 1. 3 goes into 25 how many times? That is 8, remainder 1. In 10 how many times? That is 3, remainder 1. So we shall have 83 and a third percent. Okay? Then the other number is four, 1 out of 4. Yeah, one out of four. So one out of four, we multiply by 100%. By four is one, by four is 25. So we have one times 25%, which is supposed to give you 25%. Then we go to number two. Number two, A, it is two out of three times 100%. A hundred is not exactly divisible by three, so we multiply two times one hundred percent, divide by three, and this one will give you two hundred out of three percent. By three, one, three in twenty is six, remainder two, in twenty again, that is six, remainder two, so we put that two here. So the answer is sixty-six, two out of three, percent. Then you have B, it is 1 out of 6 times 100%. 100 is not exactly divisible by 6, but we can probably use 2 by 2 is 3, by 2 is 50. 50 is not exactly divisible by 3, so we shall have 1 times 50, which is 50 out of 3. By 3 is 1. 3 goes into 5 is 1. Remainder 2 in 20, that is 6, remainder 2. So we are getting 16 and remainder 2 out of 3 percent. And lastly, we are supposed to express, that is a C, 5 out of 8 times 100 percent. Uh -huh, which number can divide 8 and 100? That is 4. By 4 is 2. By 4 is 25. So we shall have 5 times 25%, then you divide by 2. So we can arrange vertically and multiply 5 times 5, that is 25, you carry 2. 5 times 2, that is 10, plus 2, that is 12, but out of 2%. Then we reduce by 2 is 1, 2 in 12 is 6, no remainder in 5, 
that is 2 remainder 1, so it is 62 and a half percent. Okay, yes, so those are the numbers I think were a little bit tricky, and I think you can now check the rest of the numbers and see whether you got answers right. So in our lesson today, we are going to look at how we can express decimals into percentages. We are going to look at how we can express decimals into percentages. Example number one. Express. Okay. Can you give me a decimal number? Someone is saying 0 0.3 into a percentage. We are expressing 0 0.3 into a percentage. So 0 0.3, in order to express this one as a percentage, you should first of all change it into common fractions. So what is 0 0.3 in fraction form? It is going to give us 3 out of 10. Having got 3 out of 10, how do we change 3 out of 10 into a percentage? You multiply this by... 100%. Okay? So we are cancelling this zero with this one. We shall remain with 3 times 10%. And this one is going to give you 30%. Okay? Let's have another example. Change. Change. For point five into a percentage. Okay? Four point two. So four point five is the same as how many digits do we have after a place value? One. So if it is one it is going to be out of ten. So it is forty five out of 10, then times 100%. This zero will go with that. So we shall remain with 45 times 10, and this one is going to give us 450%. It's going to give us 450%. Can we look at another example? Example 3. Right. Right, 0 0.15 as a percentage. Right, 0 0.15 as a percentage. So 0 0.15 should be written in fraction form. How many digits do we have after? A decimal point, they are 2. So when they are 2, it is out of 100. So this one is 15 out of 100. Then we multiply by 100%. This is 0 will go with this. This is 0 will go with that. So I have remained with 15 times 1%, which is going to give us 15%. So what is the point of emphasis in this lesson? The point of emphasis is changing from decimal numbers to common fractions. And after changing the given decimal numbers into common fractions, then you can do what we did in the previous lessons as you have just seen here. Let's have one more example. Example 4 whereby we are going to write we are going to write 0 0.009 as a percentage zero point zero zero nine as a percentage so 0 0.009 in fraction form will give us. How many digits do we have after decimal point? They are 1, 2, 3. 
So it is 9 out of, when there are 3, that is 1,000. So out of 1,000, then we multiply by 100%. This zero will go with that. This zero will go with this. It means I have remained with 9 out of 10, then times 1%. Times 1 percent. And this one will give you 9 out of 10, then percent. Okay? So, change this one into a decimal number. So, this one is going to give us 9 out of 10 is the same as 0 0.9, then percent. I hope you have seen how interesting this lesson has been. Very simple. You have seen that if we have given you decimal numbers, the big deal here is you to know that you are supposed to change these decimal numbers into fractions. Then after getting fractions, you multiply the fraction you have got by 100 and don't forget the symbol for percentage. Thank you so much for being good learners. I'm going to give you an activity. Please enjoy the day. Bye-bye.